What is up, pal fam? Welcome to day 16 of Countdown to FIDE 100. My name is Paul Emanuel Abranas, aka Paul Pal, and we are closing out the year, the decade rather, 1930s. To close out this decade, it's a game between Alexander Korov and former world champion Mikhail Botvinnik. And we don't have much time left because I'm. I don't know what I'm doing right now, but. Hopefully the mallow crying isn't going to stumble in this microphone and maybe and all this stuff. Anyways, here we are between Kodov and Botvinnik. Kodov begins with d4. And I go, I go, I, uh, am I playing Kodov? No. <coughs> Botvinnik goes knight f6, c4. E6, knight c3, bishop b4, queen c2, knight c6, knight f3, d5, e3, castles, and a3. Well, it's a bit normal for a3, but I I am good at in the 19... I am good at the Kamishov Ragosin game that goes bishop d3 because of the castling here and... The king is on safety. You can also go here as well. But what else? Okay. So as usual, when a begin <laughs> beginner. <laughs> no, they're not beginners. Kodov just goes. Bishop takes c3. But in 1950 game on Sp Zapiel and Karas, he goes like Bishop e7. So Queen takes Bishop d7. However, if, if Knight d4 was played in a 2012 game between Kaidanov and Kakalid. Um, if I can say here and then, probably he, he may not go here. It might be useless, but he can go here and then probably go bishop. And then g6, castles, and so on. Bishop d7 was the move it made. b3. In nineteen thirty, in the game of Spielman and Romanovsky, it was Bishop D three. Indeed, could have done knight here and probably castles. He has like ready to castle. Okay, let's move on. A five, Bishop D three, A four, and here things are now starting to be in a problem with Knight D two. Great. Now my chess base is just like mentioning the variations. So no, b4. D takes, queen takes, knight a7, e4, bishop to b5, queen c2, bishop takes, queen takes, and h6. I've been fighting onto it on my voice, but yeah. Why is it a slight advantage, but I hear nothing, but nothing. <laughs> I can say e5 and then white goes knight, black goes knight e5 and then probably here. Great, now it's Mallow crying. <laughs> Big boys don't cry, but it's not just not fair. Oh no. That's what on the very first power place, but we're not talking about power place. This is countdown to feed 100. That's the offering that we've done in the year 2024 for Paul Pow to celebrate Fetus 100 fear. Okay, let's move on. Rook e8. Now um, it's interesting. Castles e5, d takes, knight takes, bishop b2, a takes, and knight takes. This this text to speech isn't going well. B e2, not bishop e2. <coughs> yeah, I think it goes bishop e2, bishop a4. Rook F D one C six C takes Knight takes and Knight takes D five C takes D five Knight takes Oh it's Queen D four Queen B six and Queen takes B six So the position will be equal if he goes to take it 
Um, I can say probably Rook here. Okay. Now let's proceed with Knight E4, thus making Botvinnik in a slight advantage. The game continues with Queen C2. Knight takes, Bishop takes, D takes, Queen takes. Wait, I wonder. Oh, okay, I get it. Why did he just like? Oh, I thought this was the pawn, but no. So great, Mallow cried. <laughs> if probably like here, I can say here and then mm, no, no, no. Takes, takes, no. Yeah, it could be like here. If it's here and then go check King H8. Okay, knight takes c4, bishop takes, d takes, queen takes, queen g5, and f4. A bad move again. What could have done on h4, not h3, it's h4. Queen g6, queen takes, bishop c6, knight d4, knight d2, knight takes, b takes, and rook fd1. And here the position is made up to be equal. Okay? Let's proceed with Queen G6, but white is gonna be better, or black is gonna be in a slight advantage. After Queen G4, F5, Bishop C6, Rook A E1, Queen G5, Rook F3, Knight to D6, Queen F4, and F6. I won. Oh, I think I get it. Why he does is like takes it because it's a blunder so the good thing it was to take it as well you can also go for here let's proceed next game next move rather is rook fd1 another bad move you can just like take this it's free and you can always change your mind <laughs> no we cannot change your mind okay rook a c8 queen e2 knight d6 rook a c1 Rook takes. Rook takes. Okay. I wonder why. You... So there are two possible moves. If he goes here, it's a blunder because. Yeah. Now I realize why did he sacrifice that rook on the variation? If. Because he takes this. Checkmate. What a game. What a shot. That was actually a free pawn and this. Rook is poison. So rook takes, bishop takes is not the one. So could have gone knight takes, and queen d two is safe to s safe to say. <coughs> but knight d six makes black better. Another mistake for Alexander Kotov. Queen c five should do the trick. Bishop a four. Rook d5, bishop takes, rook g5, not rook h5, rook g5, knight e4, rook takes, knight takes, rook takes, and black is better. You cannot go here because here I guess, check, k, rook here, and then here. And then the only move for black is this, and then checkmate. So instead, he goes king. And I have no idea what's gonna happen. Probably rook takes. Okay, queen d3. And f5, bishop f5. Mikhail Botvinnik is winning. But queen c3, another mistake. Uh, well, it's the first mistake for Botvinnik. Bishop e4. He can just simply go bishop h3, readying up for mate. Rook d2, knight e4. Wait, why did it done like here? I have no idea. Like, if he goes here, probably here, and then takes this, and there. So I realized why he just like take was knight e4, queen c2, knight takes d2. Queen takes h takes and knight takes d2. Somebody is saying don't trade when you are lose when you are behind in peace. Yeah, right. But what is happening? Why did he just like go for this? It, I think it was bad. 
Yeah, it is, it's simply bad. However, this rook d2 make white go from winning to a slight advantage for black. <coughs> Bishop c6, queen d3, and knight f5. Yeah, it's simply fine, but bishop e4 should do the trick. Queen e2, b6, knight to d4, bishop b7, a4, bishop a6, knight b5, knight e4, and rook d4. White is in a... Black is in a slight advantage, but let's move on with bishop e5. It's black going equal. f6 is the next one, but another mistake for... For Alexander with ghost bishop takes c7. If it's knight to d4, and it goes f takes, knight takes, queen f7, f takes, rook takes, knight g3, queen e7, and rook f2. Black is in a slight advantage, and so on. Now, Mikhail also made a mistake with rook takes e3. I don't know why, but it just goes away. If it's bishop e4, queen c4, king h8, bishop b6, knight h4, queen f1, knight f3, king h1, and knight b2. Wow! What I didn't expect is this! He cannot do like this because it's check. So it goes king in here. That is a threat. If you can just like move this here, but you cannot. He like probably here, and then he goes knight. He can probably simply. No, I think not. Okay, let's proceed. Queen c4. Black is in a slight advantage, but king h8 should. Wait, let's move. I mean, king h8, bishop e6, rook e8. But the better one is rook h3. Knight d4, knight e3. Queen d3, bishop e4, f5, queen takes, rook takes, and bishop takes d3. And black is now better at it. <coughs> but let's move on. What if. So black goes. Uh, white goes queen f1. After queen. If the variation goes queen d3, queen g4, h3, queen takes, rook f1, queen g3, rook takes f5. Rook e1 and rook f1. I guess it's nowhere near safe, but it goes takes. Can't go over this, I guess. Can go here. h5 for Bob Phoenix, but better one is knight h4, knight to d4, bishop d5, a4. Rook AC8. Of course, it the background goes crazy. Rook F2, F5, A5, Rook C3, and King H1. Black is in a slight advantage. Okay, let's proceed with Knight D4. Still in a slight advantage. But if Queen D3, Bishop E4, Queen H3, Rook A6, Bishop C5. Rook a4, knight to d4, rook c4, bishop to d6, and knight takes d4. Yeah, black is still in a slight advantage. If it's knight takes, bishop takes rook e4 and rook e1. A mistake for Ko Alexander Korov because if it's bishop b6 in the variation, h4, h3, queen g3, rook d3. Queen takes queen exchange, rook c1 and rook e4. Black is still in a slight advantage, but I can say he can simply go probably here and then ready up for this. Okay, he took the exchange, agreed for an exchange, and then rook takes a3, and again. A mistake for part of King H1. Queen F1 should really do the trick. Queen F5, Queen F2, B5, 
H3, Rook A4, King H2, B4, Bishop B2, B3, and Rook B4. Now it's Black is in a better position. However, Mikhail also made a mistake with Rook A8. He 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 can sacrifice that Rook. And let's say he exchanged it to Kit. Check, check, and checkmate. But however, in a variation, it's bishop a7. Rook takes h4, f4, h3, rook c4, king h2, b5, queen g3, and queen b1. Black is winning here. Okay, rook e2 is now a better position for black. h3, rook a3, king h2, queen f5, queen h4, b5, rook b2, king g8, rook b2, and b4. Yeah, it's in a better position. Let's go back. We're almost there. King h7. Is the one, but the better one is Rook A4, Bishop <coughs> Rook A1, next change, Queen takes Bishop F2 and Queen E4. I guess it's winning here, but he can go simply here and takes this, and Black might have been winning here. Another mistake for Korov is H3. I don't know why, but. Queen g3 should do the trick. Rook a4, queen exchange, rook b2, king f5, king g1, king takes, and bishop c5. Black is now better at it. Okay, let's go back. Mikhail also made a mistake with rook e8. But if it's queen d3, queen d2, queen takes, yeah, you cannot go like this, it's a check. King g1, queen, queen g4, queen c2, king g8, rook f2, and rook d8. Black is now winning here. Let's go back with the rook a8 position. Another mistake for Konov as he goes queen f2. Queen d2 should do the trick with this exchange. Queen f5, king g1, b5, bishop e3, b4, queen c4, and b3. Black is now winning here. Oh, uh, yeah, more position. But let's see how this the game concludes. Queen takes g2. Black is now winning. Alexander Kotov forces us to go for an exchange. But instead of doing immediately with bishop takes, because he knew that it's gonna be like takes, he goes on to, to take the free rook. Wow. He left with no choice. But to resign as he knows the queen takes b takes bishop c5 king g6 king g1 king f5 bishop f8 g6 bishop d6 and rook d2 black is now absolutely winning here and alexander kodov resigned what a game oops i just hit my mic <coughs> what a game we've seen Wow, I didn't expect this to end, but it's finally the end of the second calendar decade of the FIDE, which is the 1930s. I'm sorry if it just keeps on raining, but I have to say thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe and become a Patreon member at patreon.com slash paulpower. Subscribe to my vlog channel, Pal Vlogs. Follow me on Twitch, Paul Abradas, X Paul Abradas, TikTok Paul Abradas, Instagram, Threads, and Facebook are all of them Paul Power YT. Join the Discord community and yeah, let's open an, a third calendar decade for FIDE, which is the year 1940s in the year during the times of the World War II. All right, let's let's continue tomorrow on a countdown to FIDE 100.